is Diane Nicosia, and I'm a recent graduate of Coach Training EDU. I graduated in October 2020 from the Wellness Program. You know, ever since I was very young, I was very interested in spirituality, religions, things like meditation, healing, and wellness. But as I went to college, and actually my undergraduate degree was teaching, I realized that I needed to support myself and make money. So I took a very practical route, which was to get an MBA and to go into business and work for corporations. So after 30 plus years as a marketer, I felt a calling. I mean, I felt it before, but I kind of ignored it because I wanted to make money. And I felt that that was a separate part of me and that was not as practical. But I now I'm feeling the calling again after being in corporate many years to help others through my gifts and my passion. So what happened is I happened to get laid off <laughs> in June 2020 as I was thinking about how am I going to do this? How am I going to answer that calling? I got laid off June 2020 from my corporate job. And I knew, I knew as I, I had already been looking online for coaching. And so I saw Coach Training EDU and I jumped right on that train as a way to bridge my passion, which was spirituality, energy work, meditation, with the practicality of coaching. Um, I became a coach because I wanted to make a change in my career. I was working in corporate America for 30 plus years. And I wanted to use my experience but also the gifts I had, and those gifts being my intuitive self, um, and also the ability to help people through energy work. So coaching was a way to provide, it provided a way to pull all this together and to start my new chapter. Uh, my coaching business right now is work in progress. Uh, I've created all the marketing elements. Um, I have a live website. It's called ibalanceyouthrive.com and all my sales materials. And from there, I also created and conducted a workshop that was very recent in February, actually. Uh, I talked about the benefits of coaching uh, or the benefits of working with the coach. And also I, I talked about the different or some of the different coaching tools so that the people in the workshop can get a very good feel of what it's like to work with the coach, what it's like to analyze their life a little bit um, and think about where they want to focus. Now, they liked me a lot there, so I was happy to hear that they wanted me to do two more workshops. Um, one will be in April. And that will be another hour long workshop it will be live. The second one's going to be longer for about two and a half hours. And that will allow me to not only do the workshop as a group, but also give a little one on one time to people, which I think that they will really enjoy. And right now I'm spending a lot of time researching companies. Where might I be able to work with employees on stress reduction on goals? Uh, talk about mindfulness, bring in meditation, which I love. Uh, and this would be great for me once I can get my foot in a couple of companies. Um, the vision for my business is to uh, continue to create workshops. I love that the workshop environment. I think it's fun. You can make it interactive. People enjoy it, they learn from each other, um, and one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. And I'm hoping the one-on-one -on -one will get a little better with, um, as time goes on and people are less afraid to get together. Uh, I, and I, I love that as well. 
Um, I also, as I mentioned, I, I want to work with companies. I think that that allows me to bring together my work experience, uh, being marketing for so many years. Um, I have a good feel for people balancing their work and their, their life, their personal life, and some of the stresses that go on in the workplace. So I think I would be very good at that. And then let's stretch that vision a little further. And I really would love to be an inspirational speaker. I love, I always love to speak in front of large groups. I did it in corporate. I did it for sales meetings. Um, and I just feel that there you can really bring the energy up and you can, if you really believe in what you're doing, which I do, uh, you can get that across. And it's just, it's a phenomenal way to talk your message. And then finally, I'd like to write a book. I've been journaling for a long time. Uh, and I, I learned through meditation to align with myself, my true self. And I feel that I can help other people do that as well. So align with your true self and also living on purpose or living consciously. So that would be a good title for the book, Align with Your True Self and Live Your Life Consciously. Well, if I was talking to someone who wanted to become a coach, I would tell them, number one, definitely do training. The reason being that there are some things that you don't know that you don't know. And here's where you'll learn that. For example, learn to listen more because the client knows themselves better than anyone else. And the client that you're working with will know if they don't already where they want to go. So you need to listen. So from listening and trusting the process, you'll be able to accomplish what you said out to at your session. And then be prepared to talk about the benefits of coaching in working with the coach, because some people don't have their head wrapped around that. I mean, they, they understand a coach working with um, a football player or training, physical training, but they don't all understand what it means to work with the coach when it comes to wellness or business coaching. And they need to get that to see the value. And then finally, believe in yourself, believe in the value that you're bringing to your clients and the world. It's very important. If I was talking to someone younger than myself, I would tell them to seriously take the time to know who you are. Know who you are. I mean, the real you, not the you that's trying to please everyone else, your mother, your father, your friends, but the real you, who is that? And then what do you want to do in your life? Think about it. Take the time. Listen to yourself. And where do you want to go? So very important. What makes you feel happy? What makes you feel fulfilled? All these things are a starting point. <laughs> because then from there, if coaching is the answer, then definitely do the training. Because as I said before, if you do the training, then you'll learn things that you that you didn't know that you didn't know. <laughs> so very important. And then be patient with the journey because I don't know about you, but I am so impatient with myself. I just want to be successful in what I do. I want to get clients right away. I want things to move. Be patient with the journey. And then finally, and probably the most important thing in coaching is to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and the, your gifts, your personal gifts that only you can give in the way that you give them and your value to the world. And coaching is simply, to me, helping others to see themselves who they are, what they want out of life, and how to get there, and helping them 
one step at a time. Coaching has impacted my life by helping me to move forward in my own life. Uh, it's given me the tools and the confidence to help others move forward and really give me the confidence to believe that I can coach and I can be effective. It helped me to bridge spirituality, which is my passion, and practicality, the practical steps, boots on the ground to move yourself forward. I learned from Coach Training EDU and specifically that I talked too much and I didn't listen enough. That was very important because I didn't realize that because given the background I come from, talking was all part of it. Talking, giving recommendations. And really in coaching, you need to learn to listen, ask the right questions, and then trust the process. Coach training EDU helped me to become more confident in my coaching. Taught me the tools to help the client see themselves and what they want. And it definitely made me more, gave me more credibility when telling someone I was a coach. Um, and it connected me, this is very important, and I don't want to forget to say this, it connected me to people who really believed in what they were doing, the trainers at Coach Training EDU, and the coaches. And I still connect to people there to this day, and it's months later. So that's how important it is as a community of people that understand what you're doing and are there to help you even after you graduate. Um, my biggest influences have been books, actually, and other things, but books, <laughs> very important. And I can name them. Um, in my early 20s, I read Science of the Mind by Ernest Holmes. And that's all about how we create our lives through our thoughts, through our thinking. And then most recently, uh, I read a series of books called I Am Discourses. It's a series of 20 books, is very old teachings. And again, it's about connecting with God or the universe, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> and then through that connection, Thinking, the way you think, where your focus is, where you align yourself, is how you're going to create your life. Now, that's a huge simple simplification, but that's kind of what that series of books is about. Very old teachings. Um, in addition to books, instructions. I've taken meditation classes, um, energy healing. I'm a certified Reiki teacher. Reiki master teacher, they call it, I believe. Um, and then my faith in God, I feel we're all guided. Uh, there's a reason we all have gifts. There's a reason why we're here. There's a reason um, that you would be a coach. And then my family and friends and my daughter who believes in me no matter what. <laughs> She's a huge influence. Well, I have to say that, I mean, college and high school, that was a while back <laughs> for me. So I'd like to talk more about teachers that have influenced me to do what I'm doing now. I think that is probably more relevant. So I had a meditation and energy healer teacher. His name was John Mercedes. I think I started with him, might've been 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. Uh, he was very influential in getting me back into meditation, which I had done very early on in my life. And then I stopped as I was focused on business, but so I started getting into it again. He's now out there somewhere in the world doing retreats, <laughs> fabulous guy. And then um, another meditation energy healer, in fact, 
woman who uh, trained me in Reiki healing. Her name is Kim Feeney. She, in fact, right now I still see her a couple of times a month and I do a group meditation. Uh, she is in um, Fairfield, Connecticut at the Lantern House. Very influential and still is. Uh, and then I had many business teachers in my career. And then I think the biggest teacher is really life itself. 